Hey, 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 extraordinary women. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Glory to God, the most high God. We are here to praise you this afternoon. It is Saturday, September the 6th, I think. Up oh, today, the seventh. Oh, I and I changed the calendar. It's the seventh. But glory to God. I want to thank God that we are here this morning, that He woke us up. And like I always say, Lord God, you woke me up this morning. You must got something for me to do or something for me to say. Or you got a surprise for me. <laughs> That's what I'll be saying to him every day. But today I woke up, y'all, right? I got to keep it real. And this will show you how real I am, that I am never thinking I'm holier than thou. Yes, I got a whole lot of faith. I believe I get in the word, but sometimes you have those days. So I woke up this morning and I don't even know what it was. I can't even explain it. I just was like, just thinking about things that I've asked God for, that I'm, I still have all that faith that I know it's going to come to pass, that he is working it out in my favor. So I know it's going to happen. So I got on up, got myself together, got in the kitchen because we're going to barbecue tomorrow. So I went in the kitchen. I was worshiping God, lifting him, lifting him up, praising him. I um, started washing the meat that we're going to um, barbecue tomorrow. And I was just talking to him and I got a little emotional. I got to admit it because I was reminded of where I've been and what he's already done. So, yeah, you asking for this, you want this. Just keep keep the faith. It's going to happen. So he had to remind me of the things that he has already done. So I think I got a little emotional because of that. Because I shouldn't need reminding of that. And I did wash the meat. Seasoned everything. Put it in a bag so it could be marinated overnight for tomorrow. After church, we're going to barbecue. And um, I was like, am I? I was just thinking, was I going to get on here? And talk to you all today. And I was just like, yes. And I was asking God, well, what I'm going to say? He said, that's okay. I'm going to be right there with you. It'll all flow. I'll tell you what to say. <laughs> so I was like, well, I guess I'll talk about how I was feeling. How you had to remind me that I've always been there. I will always be here with you no matter what. And he reminded me of everything happens in his timing. Because I think sometimes I just be like, in my head that I want it right now or next week and, you know, soon, soon, soon. But he's reminding me it happens in his timing. Oh, it will happen because Matthew 18 verse 19 says that if two of, two of you agree on something that you ask for here on earth, my God in heaven will give it to you. So that I do know it will happen what I'm praying for. And the things I'm asking um, God for, it will come to pass. I know that. And that makes me smile. That makes me happy. And that's why I'm on here today because I was remanded of that. And also, I, so I was looking for scripture to kind of go with what I was feeling this morning. And he led me right to it, which is going to be Luke 11, verse 9. And it says, so I say to you. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who acts receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. So all of this will come to pass in God's time. And so I have to just keep that in my little old brain. <laughs> And remind myself that, girl, yeah, God got you. He see you. I remember that. Last year, he told me that. I see you. I heard it as clear as day. That's what he told me. And that's something that sticks with me. Not only here, I remind myself that he said that to me, but in my spirit, in my heart. He said to me, I see you. And I know what he meant by that because all of the things that was going on and what I was doing. And just he was just, I see you. You know, so I know everything is going to happen in his time. And he had to also remind me something that I did, too, before I got on here. I just finished packing. Did you forget? Like I told you, he was reminding me. Did you forget that I'm already blessing you in the midst of everything that you asking me for all this other stuff? I'm already blessing you. You finna go on a whole cruise next week. 
Did I not provide? Did you not put on your vision board January of this year that you're going to be traveling a lot this year? Have I not fulfilled that for you? So isn't that something, though, how we forget things? <laughs> how we forget, like, wow, you finna go on a whole tr tr cruise. Didn't you just come from a cruise in April? Did God not provide because that's what you wanted? You, you saying you're a world traveler. You want to travel the world. <laughs> Lord God, so he had to remind me, I'm already taking care of you. Everything you ask for shall be done in my timing. So, you know, just, just live life. Enjoy what I'm giving you right now. So if you can enjoy it right now, imagine what the enjoyment you're going to get when it happens. So just enjoy life as it's, as it's coming. You know, each day enjoy it. The fact that we woke up this morning, I thank you, God. That's why I wake up every morning saying, "You must got something for me to do. You got me to. T you want me to tell somebody something? <laughs> you want me to give somebody a hug or just give me give somebody this beautiful smile? It's something you want me to do. So that's why I wake up and I I praise Him, I worship Him, and I say, "What do you want me to do? That's why I say, "You. It's something you want me to do. That's why you woke me up. Because what can I do for you?" I can love people. I know that's the number one thing. He wants me loving everybody. And I try and do that every day. Every day I try and spread love. Whether it's with a text message. A phone call. When I see people, I'm just smiling. I um, saw this lady last week. We were in Big Lots shopping. And we were leaving out and she was coming in. And I just was smiling. And I said, good evening. How are you? And she was just like... Look at that beautiful smile. When I tell you this lady hugged me, <laughs> she said, can I give you a hug? She hugged me and she she didn't let go because you know when you hug somebody for, let's say, five seconds and then you, you kind of back it, you know, easing off, she was still holding me. And it makes me think about the scripture where, um, it's, it's taught that when you have faith, you have to have that mutual affection that comes along with the faith. And when I, when I, um, when that happened, like, I think the next day I was reading and I thought about that's what that was. Mutual affection. Cause this lady, a total stranger just was holding me. And I was just like, glory to God. Look at, look at, look at me. <laughs> look at what you put on me this armor to what someone wants to hug me and hold on to me. So I thank you, God. I lift you up high. So I just want to tell everybody that, no, you might start, you might get up on the wrong side of the bed, but guess what? You can walk righteously throughout that day. Just give it to God. Talk to him. I put my worship music on while I was in there watching that on um, me. And look at me now. I feel good. I look good. And I am a child of the most high God. <laughs> that I know. Can't nobody tell me nothing different either. So I just want to say I hope y'all have a wonderful Saturday. Great weekend. And tomorrow is Sunday. I'll be in church praising my Lord. Worshiping. And just living my life and getting ready for this this whole cruise that he he finna you know he provided for me so i'm thanking him for that so with that said i guess i'll say a little prayer because i see my little minutes up there so glory to you god i lift you up your mighty name you are victorious you are amazing i love you so much jesus thank you thank you for what you've done for us Thank you that you laid your life down for us. And every time I think about that, it just kind of blows my mind that you did that for me, for you. He did that for us. So how can we not magnify his name every day? And that's what I want to do. And I want you to come along with me as I do that, this journey that I'm just starting. So... I love you all, you magnificent, extraordinary women of God. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. So have a wonderful day. Praises to you, Lord God. Amen, amen, amen. And we love you. We lift you up. Amen. Have a good one. <laughs>